Hello everybody! If you are a happy owner of an SSD, it is not only desirable but necessary to monitor its health regularly. It is because the resource of a solid-state drive is limited when compared to an HDD, and the risks of losing data are higher. However, this disadvantage is compensated by a number of positive sides to using an SSD that come from its design being different from a conventional hard disk. Now let us have a look at several free programs and run a series of tests to know more about health and performance status of your SSD. Step 1. SSD Health Diagnostics Download and install SSD Live free. You will find the link in the description. This program has a simple and plain interface, which makes it convenient and easy to use even for novice users. This piece of software will also come in handy when you buy a second-hand SSD and would like to know how long and hard its previous life was. To find out, start the program. In the window that opens, you can see the disk state, in my case it says excellent, and an estimated lifetime of this SSD in the current mode of operation. In my case, it is supposed to work until July 2026. You can see a summary below. The SSD model, the amount of total and free space, total work time, in my case the disk has worked over 4 months, number of times it was powered on, in my case almost 300 times, the health scale which shows predicted lifetime for the disk in the current load conditions, and the last line below shows the amount of data in gigabytes read and written to the disk over the time period of work. Step 2. Testing read-write speed of the SSD The reading speed of a modern hard disk is about 60 MB per second, while an average SSD can do it 4 to 5 times faster. Let's check if it's true. Download a SSD benchmark. You will find the link in the description. Extract the program from the archive and run it. In the window that opens, select the SSD to test and leave the checked box only next to the item SEQ. To run the test, click Start. The program has run the test and shows the result. You can compare it to the figures claimed by our disk manufacturer in its website and see if they are the same. They may be slightly different, but a big gap between the claimed and actual results may suggest that your SSD has a certain defect. Step 3. Test the SSD for errors. Download and install a disk checkup. You will find the link in the description. In the window that opens, select the disk, then go to the tab Disk Self Test. In the menu Test Type, select Extended Test to run a deeper test of, of your SDD, SSD, and then click Start. Ready? We can see a message that the test is completed and no errors were detected. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get more new video guides soon.